Until now, I have a multi-section surface and I have an extrude here. I want to have some curve in the junction of these two surfaces. And of course, I want to trim out the excess part. So I can go to Insert Menu, go to Operations, and select the Shape Fillet tool. I cannot see shape fillet in your movie because it is out of my capture area, but it is under operations. I can find it here. By clicking on shape fillet, I can select the fillet type that I want to use because these are two parts together. I'm going to use by tangent. I need to select the first thing that is multi-section surface and the second thing that is the extrude. Now I have two parts here. You can see some arrows here. The first arrow are, is, is inward, is looking inward, so that's okay. It tells me that this point, part of the shape is going to be a preserve for me. The second arrow is downward. It tells me that it is going to preserve the down part of this shape. I'm not going to have the down part. I want to have the upper part of this. So I click on this to reverse the direction. Now, I want to have some radius. I can change to have about 100 millimeters and click on OK. Now you can see that a nice curve is added to the junction of these two surfaces and of course I have one object right now that is named the fillet. Okay now I want to have some edge around this. If I want to create an edge around this I need to do some things. I want to create a plane and for this plane, I need to have a curve, and this curve is going to be on the edge of this fillet one. So first of all, I need to have a curve here. To create a curve here, you can go to Insert Menu, go to Operations, and select Boundary here. Again, you cannot see Boundary in your movie because it is out of my capture area, so I click on Boundary. Now it tells me which surface are you going to create a boundary for, so I click fillet 1. It automatically uh, recognizes the end part of this surface and creates a boundary for me by clicking on OK. Now I have a boundary. I want to create a plane on this boundary. For this I need a point. I can of course select the plane and select the normal to curve because I have a curve here and right click on point and click a create point or I can create a point previously uh, you know, uh, beforehand and after that go to create plane definition both are the same but I prefer to have this point here first of all I need to select the point that is going to be on a curve so I click on curve here or I can select tangent to curve both are the same. Select the curve. And it tells me that do you have a plane? I don't have a plane, but I have a curve here that is going to be the boundary. So I click on boundary and I can see that it changes. And it tells me that this is a point here. Let's see the point by panning down. You can see the point right now here. And it tells me that if you want to have a length assigned, you can move your cursor around this curve and tell which part do you want to have the point on that. Or you can assign the length of, for example, 0 millimeter to have the exact point that is created here. Or you can select the middle point, that means this is here. Uh, that's uh, okay for you. I want to have 0 here. I don't want to have a distance, so a distance and curve is going to be 0 millimeters. And I uh, click on preview, this is the point that is created, I click on OK. Now I have the point here, right here. Okay, now that I have the point, I want to create the plane based on the point and the curve. So I select normal to curve, this is normal to curve, this tells me that the curve is the boundary. And the point is this point that I have created here. I click on point 1. Now you can see the plane. I click on OK. Select the plane. Go to Sketch Environment. And now I want to create a profile here. So let's click to zoom in and pan. 
Now I'm going to create a curve here looking using the three point arc. That's okay. I create a three point arc like this. Now that I have created here, I select this point, select the end point, and make sure that these are in coincidence. So I select coincidence. I can see the curve is here. Again, I select the curve. Select the constraint, make sure that this is about 20, 25 millimeters or something that you need. And make sure that this is 25 millimeters in radius, that's okay for me. Now I have a curve that's attached to the boundary and in coincidence with the point here. If I want to have a nice curve, I can select this line and select this curve. And now make sure that these are in tangency together. Now you can see that this is tangent. I exit this. Now I exit my workbench. Select this curve. Go to insert menu. Go to surfaces. Now select the sweep tool. The sweep tool is very interesting thing. You can see the result of sweep tool right now. It tells me what type of sweep you are going to work with. I can select guides or I can select polling direction. I am not well, looking for them, you can see the sketch is selected and the guide curve is going to be the boundary. So I select the boundary and I can see the surface is going to be created for me if I click on preview. This is a very nice curve. Click on OK and that's it. Now let's zoom out and pan. Now I want to hide the sketch. And now I don't want the point to be visible again. And I want the plane to be visible again. Now I have two different surfaces here. There is a surf sweep. There is a, you know, a fillet. I want to make sure that these two are joined together. These are merged in one object. So again, I need to go to Insert Menu, go to Operations, and select Join again. You cannot see it in your capture area. Again, I select the Join, and it tells me which surfaces you are going to join together. I select Fillet, and select the Sweep. I want these two to be beyond objects. So I click on OK. You can see the merging distance is the least possible, one, uh, zero, zero, 0,001 millimeter. So I click on OK. Now I have just one shape here. Now the last part is here. We have surfaces and surfaces do not have any thickness. Surface is just visible here because we have virtual surfaces. Now I want to add some thickness to my surface and for this uh, I can I need to hide the boundary. I don't want to see this. For this I need to take this into part design environment. So I go click on a start menu, go to mechanical design, go to part design environment. Of course you do not need to take it here if you want to have the correct tool set, but the tool sets are on the insert menu. This is easier for me to work with that. So I go and select the insert menu, go to the surface base feature because I'm working with surfaces and select the thick surface. I click on thick surface. Now I'm going to add some offset. You can have it in both direction. I select the object to offset highlighted and select the join. Now you can see the arrows are inward. This means that I'm going to have uh, the thickness added inside. I can have a second offset of course. I can click on preview. And after a while you can see that this is added a one millimeters of offset. I can add for example two millimeters of offset in the second direction. And again, click on preview, you can see that I have added thickness in both directions. Of course, I can click on these arrows to select the reverse direction and click on OK. Now you can see that I have three millimeters of thickness and two millimeters in the other direction, one millimeter in the inner direction, and that's the top that I have created right now.